Hello, let's do this question. Create maximum number. It's caused me much pain, but there was a prerequisite question that I recommend you would do before this, and that's the previous video that I made. So uh, what is this question? You're given two arrays, nums1, nums2, with lengths m and n respectively, and also integer k. And you want to create a maximum number from digits from these arrays, such that the relative order of the digits from the same array is preserved. So it's very similar to the previous question where we try to find the lexicographically least number from a sequence of numbers. But in this case, we want the lexicographically greatest subsequence, not of one array, but of two that kind of merged together. So how do we do this? Well, we could try find using the same method as the previous question, the lexicographically greatest subsequences of both these arrays individually and then merge them somehow so that they the result is the maximum lexicographically as well. But the problem is, I don't know how many numbers I should take from the first array and how many numbers I should take from the second array so that the total number of numbers in the final merged array totals up to k. Well, I could just try every possible case. If k is 5, then we could try getting 1, element from nums1 and four elements from nums2 or we could try getting two elements from nums1 or and three elements from nums2 so those are all the possible combinations you could go through each of these and then find the lexicographically greatest subsequence involving two elements from nums1 and lexicographically greatest subsequence of length three from nums two, merge them together so that the result is also lexicographically greatest, and then compare that with the rest of these to find the answer. Okay, so let's give that a go. I've already made this one because we've kind of already done that in the previous video. The only difference between this one and the previous video is the one in the previous video was trying to find the lexicographically least subsequence. This is trying to find the lexicographically max subsequence. And the only difference is I had to switch the sign here. So only replace the latest element if the current element is greater than the latest. So let's just create a for loop less than or equal to k plus plus i. That's how many i elements I want from the first array and the number of elements I want from the second would be j equal to k minus i. Then I could get a vector called max1 which is the lexicographically greatest subsequence from nums1 involving only i items. So I can call this function max lex nums1 i. And also another, create another array for nums2. And grab only j elements from that. And I want to now merge them so that the result is lexicographically the greatest. So take this um, two arrays, for example. If this is max1, and this is max2. And I want to merge these so that the result, the merge result is lexicographically greatest. Well, what I would do is I would first of all grab the 2 because that's greater than 1. If I start with the 1, that's definitely lexicographically smaller. So I want to get, get the 2. And now I have a pointer here and a pointer here. Now, which one should I merge? This one and the 1 are equal to each other. Well, the next item I should push to the merge result would be if I compare this subsequence and this subsequence, which one is lexicographically greater? Well, it would be the, the bottom subsequence here because the third element in both these subsequences is zero and one respectively. So the one beats the zero here. The one here is greater than the zero here. So that why, that, that's why I push a one here and I move the pointer to be here. And then I repeat that. So now I'm comparing these two subsequences. Which one is greater? Well. The bottom one again so i push a one onto the merge result again and i move the bottom pointer up here then i compare these subsequences again and which one is greater the top one because the second element from both arrays is one and zero respectively this one being greater than this zero so that's why i push a one here and i move this here so and i keep repeating that until both arrays are completely merged so I need a function that takes in two arrays, max1 and max2, and also two indexes, a and b, which would tell me whether the subarray starting from a to the end of the first array is greater than the subarray from 
B to the end of the second array or not. And to do that, I would just have to go through and first time I see that, that the corresponding items are different from each other, I can, I know immediately whether one is greater than the other. If they're the same, just can keep going. I also have to take care of the, if um, they're different lengths. So if you have one, zero, one, zero, and this is one, zero, which one is less geographically greater? Well, I would give the benefit of the doubt to the longer subsequence, even though the bottom one is the prefix of the top one. Okay, so let's make a function that can do that. Let's call it greater. So whether, okay, so this function would tell me whether nums one, the subarray at nums one is greater than the subarray at nums two, where the subarray start at A and B respectively. So I just need a while loop. So while A is less than nums one dot size or nums or b is less than nums 2 dot size keep looping now if a is greater than or equal to nums 1 dot size that means b is less definitely less than nums 2 dot size otherwise this while well, loop would have ended that means the size of the subarray at nums 2 is greater than the size of the subarray at nums 1 so i can return false meaning that the subarray at nums 1 is not lexicographically greater than the subarray at nums 2 else if b is greater than or equal to nums 2 dot size turn true so the subarray at nums 1 is greater than the subarray at nums 2 else if at this point i would know that a and b is less than nums 1 dot size and nums 2 dot size respectively so they're within bounds so i can check nums 1 a is less than nums 2 b that's true then i want to turn false Else, if nums1 at A is greater than nums2 at B, return true. Else, I want to increment A and also increment B. If both arrays are identical and have the same length, then I'll get to this point here. And it doesn't matter whether I return true or false here, so I just return true. Okay, now we want to merge the two arrays, so let's create a vector int called merged. And then go through. The logic is actually quite similar to this. So I'm just going to copy this while loop. Have a equal to zero. Have b equal to zero. If a is greater than or equal to nums one dot size, by this case I want to use max one dot size and max two dot size. So let's just change the names. If a is beyond the end of the array, then I just want to push back to the merge result the item at max 2 and also this means I increment the point the index for the second for max 2 same same for here a plus plus if max 1 at a is less than max 2 at b then I want to push back uh, max2 at b++ plus plus. here I'm going to merge the pushback max max1 at a++ plus plus. in the case where they're equal that's what I made this function for so if greater if the ma if max1 is greater than the max2 at indexes a and b then I'm going to do merge dot pushback max1 at a plus plus else merge dot pushback max2 at b plus plus now that they've merged together I want to check whether this is the best answer so far so I could have an answer vector answer and then say if merged is greater than the answer answer is equal to merged then at the end return the answer oh uh, this should be this function should be returning a boolean and I also have to check whether i and j is the number of elements I should grab from numbers 1 and the numbers of elements I should grab from numbers 2 are actually less than or equal to the size of numbers 1 and the size of numbers 2 so if i is greater than nums1.size or 
j is greater than numbers 2 dot size then continue so skip that case cool uh, let's give that a run it has caused me a lot of pain thanks for watching like and subscribe keep yeeting the code and i'll see you in the next video